Hello everyone, once again this is G, and this is a follow-on video to the flash boiler. And I want to see what else we can do with this particular mechanism over here. And I figured let's try to make a sour gas boiler. And in this case we're using petroleum as the input, uh, not oil, because with oil it would get stuck over here. And just a major disclaimer here, this is by no means efficient. We have two thermium aqua tuners going on over here. So this is... Yeah, this is kind of ridiculous in terms of efficiency, but, you know, if you look at it over here, you know, you get lots of power output, so it kind of absorbs that. You get up to 11 gas generators coming out of this. I'm just using 10 for this demo, so it should be fine. But yeah, you know, don't uh, scream and holler at me, you know, saying how inefficient this is, because I know, trust me, I just wanted to see that this could work. And what do you know? It does. And if we look at the temperature over here, you can see this hot sour gas comes in in five kilogram increments and immediately gets chilled down by this extremely cold, super cooled thermium plate here. And after that happens, it just gets teleported up into this chamber above here. And from there, it just turns into natural gas and so forth. And it helps to transfer some of the heat out of this area over here, keeping it from overheating. Now on the input here we got petroleum coming in at 100 degrees and you could take it down lower as well but generally if it's coming out of your petroleum boiler it's going to be around there anyway so that's where I kept it. Down here these aqua tuners will shut off if the temperature is above 770 and the reason for that is to keep this natural salt tile from melting because if it hits this temperature over here it's going to start to flake off and eventually melt it entirely. Even if it's like at a lower temperature than the melting point, it'll start to flake if the gas under here is above the melting point. So, But yeah, let me pull up an overlay so you, I can show you what's actually going on here. Here we go. So you can see here that sour gas, when it, uh, when it boils, it gets forced into this tile over here by more petroleum coming in. And this petroleum just pushes the sour gas into this airflow tile. And then from there, as it cools, methane will pop up up here and sulfur will actually get popped out diagonally over here. Now this mesh tile is what makes the sulfur come out diagonally. If you take this mesh tile out, sulfur will pop out over here right on top of the salt tile which is pretty inconvenient for the setup. So I stuck a mesh tile here and that took care of business. Forces the sulfur to come out diagonally and it just gets picked up by the solder sweeper and done. Yeah, so pretty uncomplicated setup. And if we look at automation, really not much in terms of automation here. We just got this thermo sensor regulating these aqua tuners and we just got this atmos sensor over here. So there has to be at least 20 kilos of gas before these things start. That helps to uh, make sure that gas doesn't get evacuated entirely or create a vacuum or anything like this. Now, if we look at the materials, again, like I said, we got thermium over here and these two tiles are thermium. Plumbing is thermium as well over here and in here it's insulation inside the steam chamber. Oh yes, and the steam chamber is filled with a thousand kilos of steam. So keeps it nice and hot at about 700 degrees and change. It's gonna come up probably to about 750. So we'll see. I think this still needs a little bit more testing but it's really just a proof of concept. In any case, that's all I have for you right now. But I am working on something else that's going to be a lot more interesting than this, I think. So stay tuned for that. This has been Greasy Hammer. And if you like this video, then make sure to smash that like button. And subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.